Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman, land surveyor and real property attorney. What are three things that every property owner should know before they schedule a survey? Well, first of all, you've got to appreciate that it takes time to schedule, to plan, to find a good surveyor. So a lot of times, you know, people are closing a house or you're getting ready for a big remodel or you've got to submit a proposal to the city for some plans and you say, oh my God, I need to find a land surveyor. So you scramble, you find a surveyor, you hire the first person you find, and it may not be the best person for you. And then you're still waiting days, weeks, or months until you get the surveyor to your property and have the survey completed. So number one, plan ahead. You know, if you know or you think you're gonna need a survey, get it booked early. Number two, not all surveyors are created equal. Some surveyors will give you a very cheap price, but the quality of the survey map or the research or whatever is not what you need. On the other hand, uh, you may not need a you know ten or twenty thousand dollar survey if you're just trying to close a property and you're not so interested in where your boundaries are. You just want to meet the minimum requirement. So number two is, you know, surveyors are different. Quality is different. The product you get is different, and. You know, it really shouldn't be that way to some extent because if you're licensed as a surveyor, you as the client should expect some minimum requirements. But in practice, sometimes that's not really true. And then number three. Number three is going to be to learn, to ask questions. You know, don't just hire a surveyor, get a map, and put it in your cabinet. You should hire a surveyor, get a map, and go to the property with the surveyor and ask questions about, you know, what does this line mean? Or what is this point? Or can you walk me around where my boundaries are? So if you're the client, you need to be thinking critically about the product that you've just paid a lot of money for. And remember that it's okay to ask questions, to provide comments, to request revisions if they're reasonable, because the surveyor and the client have this, uh, you know, symbiotic relationship. And the surveyor, you know, is not really relying on you as the client to check their work, but if you have specific requirements for the survey, ask and make sure they're met. So to sum things up, number one, plan ahead and be patient. Number two, Appreciate that not all survey or surveyors are created equal. And then number three, look at your map, ask questions, and think critically. If you can do those three things, you'll be happy, the surveyor will be happy, and life will be good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah.